I can start. Um, okay. Coach Chris, the athletic. Hey, Colin, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, hey, obviously, you've spent a lot of time um, around the team um, since with, with coming back from the injury. What's it been like for you just to be in Cleveland when you can be, be around the guys on the road, et cetera, and work out in Cleveland? Um, it just, it means a lot. Honestly, it means a lot to me, uh, just being around the team, just being able to put my input, uh, on different situations on different things as much as possible and just continue to help, um, any way possible. Even if, uh, I gotta be a rebounder or if I have to be a passer or, um, gotta watch film with guys, um, whatever was needed. Um, I made sure I was here and, um, in, in, in the present time doing doing what was needed. So I enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed being on the sideline and just cheering my teammates on because it's, it's much different uh, cheering through a TV than uh, and when you're in person and have the crowd and everybody um, into it. So it, it was it was good just to be around the guys. And uh, even though we came up short, but uh, we still had a phenomenal season. Where are you um, in your like recovery process, like how you're feeling and everything and just kind of what has this time like with the injury been like for you through the recovery process um I'm getting there every day is a, is a grind I feel uh, better every day as long as I get better one percent uh, each and every day I wake up then it's a win-win so I just continue to just know that um some days are, are going to be better than others and just continue to know that um I will be be full go um and I know I'm gonna be 100 percent so uh, that's one thing that I, I can really look forward to and say that um, I have confidence in myself and I, I have confidence in the people that's working with me um, to get me back to where I was and even much better and, and jumping a lot higher. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Good seeing you too. Chris, go ahead. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Colin, good to see you. Good seeing you. Hey, do you have a timeline for when you're going to be full go? Um, no timeline exactly, um, but I don't know. That's 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 to come. <laughs> let's let's ask it a different way. Do you expect to be ready for training camp? Oh yes, I'll be I'll be ready. I'll be ready for for training camp for sure. Uh, I'll be ready to go hundred uh, percent. I'll be I'll be good for sure. And you obviously have a contract situation this off season. How important is it for you to stay here in Cleveland? Um, I want to be here in Cleveland. I love the organization. Love my teammates and. Um, Whatever happens, I know that um, Cleveland was was really good to me, and I know I, this is the place that um, that helped me get to where I am today. And I I know I want to continue to be a part of this winning culture and be a part of this culture. Uh, I feel like uh, me just being able to be the start of it uh, helped us get to where we are um, yesterday and where we are right now in the present. So I I love Cleveland. I I want to be here. So that's. I mean, you have talked, Colin, for the last couple of years, how you want to put Cleveland on the map, how you want to help them get to the playoffs. Like for you, how do you process everything that that happened this past season? Um, just I just process it in a way of knowing that uh, I can control what I can control. And as far as my injury, I can't really control um, what happened, but I can control what's moving forward. And that's getting up every day and going to work and um, just taking that step, trying to get back a hundred percent. So that's, the, I control the little things and the rest is the rest. Some things that are out of my control. I don't, I don't pretty much just worry about. I just focus on it now. Thanks, man. Get healthy. Appreciate it. Ashley, go ahead. Ashley Best at Cleveland.com. Uh, good to see you, Colin. Uh, I'm wondering just with being out as long as you were, I know sometimes when players are out for a lengthy amount of time, they talk about they see the game a different way. It gives them a different angle, different way, different things they learn. I guess for you, is there anything that that you experienced in that regard? Absolutely. I would say I watch so much basketball, um, just sitting at home. Um, and also just being around the team and watch just how the coaches interact on different situations and um, the adjustments that, you know, like when you're playing in the game, you don't really see the adjustments that the coaches go back and forth about. But then when you're when you're on the sideline, you're able to see and uh, take a step back. It, it's a, you see it through a different lens. And I feel like now uh, when I do come back on the court, I'm be able to see the game a lot better than I did before. And um, I'm using this time for my advantage and using this time to just continue to learn 
on and off the court, whether it's um, watching a lot of film or even just talking to um, guys who, who've been in the situ this same situation and just getting more knowledge about it. So. And then this team this year obviously had a ton of really high points, and then there were some lower points towards the end of the season. And I'm just wondering for you mentally, like what it was like to, you're watching all this success, but you're not able to actually be out there. And then on the flip side of that, watching the team kind of lose towards the end of the season and fall in the standings and you can't be out there to help. I guess just mentally, what was that like for, for you to experience all of that? I, it was tough, man. I feel like that's the toughest part, knowing that I can't go to war with my team and go to war with my guys. Um, I feel like that was the toughest part, just sitting on the sideline. The only thing I could do is um, be the best cheerleader uh, out there, but uh, I couldn't step between those lines and help any way possible. Um, so whenever uh, I seen something, I would be a, another coach on the bench, but it's, it's nothing like being out there on the court. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, that's what I do is, is go up and down and compete each and every night. But being on the side is I can compete on the side and just talk uh, and do, do what I can, but nothing like being out there. Thanks, Colin. You're welcome. Marla, go ahead. Marla, right now, our Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, great to see you, Colin. Um, to see you. Just kind of along with Ashley's question, but like when you saw the Cavs, you know, kind of looking for somebody to take over the scoring, are you like, oh my God, they need me, you know, like, you know what I mean? Just thinking to yourself, like putting yourself in that situation and what you could do to help. Oh yeah, absolutely. I just put myself in different situations of where I could help and not just the scoring. I feel like I could help on both ends or even just help, um, in practice as well, like some things where I felt like, okay, I could have just ran off this screen to allow uh, my teammate to understand the speed, how this this player might come off the screen, and just different things that I feel like I could have just helped in different ways, not just only on the scoring part. Um, I feel like I could have helped on the defensive end. I feel like I could have helped just bring that toughness to the game and that and that grit uh, each and every night um, I, I play. So. It was tough watching for sure, but I know I'll be out there with my with my team real soon next season, uh, ready to go. And you've got a lot of uncertainty about, you know, in the next few months. How do you you feel better equipped to handle that now than, you know, it's just got to be the toughest, you know, <clears throat> few months that you've ever faced in your career. Absolutely. It's been the toughest it's been the toughest year uh, I faced uh, in my basketball career, but I know um, I have a good support staff. I got good coaches here and good trainers. I, I know everybody here is going to um, help me get through it and help me get to um, where I need to be. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Tom, go ahead. Thanks, Shay. Hey, Colin, Tom Withers, AP. We, um, we got nervous watching you on the sideline a few times, afraid you were going to either run out on the floor or, or hurt yourself over there. Uh, <laughs> I know you didn't want to be a cheerleader, but but did you have some fun over there as well? Oh yeah. Um, at the end of the day, I, I enjoy myself, um, whether it's shoot around or even in the game, as much as I can, as much as I can do on the sideline, as much as I can scream, yell, then I'm I'm gonna do do whatever is needed um, for my team and whatever is needed. Like on this end, I was screaming left, right, pick and roll, like whichever weak, strong, like. Um, so that they can hear me. I know it was loud in there. So um, sometimes you can't hear one extra voice isn't going to hurt. So I know you only had a short period to play with both Evan and Darius and you guys were starting to find that blend early on before you got hurt. How much are you looking forward to, to meshing with those guys as you go forward together? Oh yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to, to be a part of this um, winning, winning group. I feel like this is the year for us to, to get over the hump. And this is what, what just shows like toughness and just shows each and every year we've continued to build and continue to get better. And um, that goes for the front office, putting putting the right pieces together and, and doing that in a way of um, bringing us together. Um, you start putting different pieces in that's gonna help us win. And I feel like they've done a great job with that. Thanks, good to see you. Good to see you. Spencer, go ahead. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Uh, so basically, I was going to ask, uh, you know, for you, you're a gym rat and uh, you're back up on your feet now. That's got to be a little better than shooting jumpers from a wheelchair or off one crutch, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, um, <laughs> how has it been for you just physically uh, at this point uh, as, as far as moving and being able to, you know, kind of get shots up and whatnot? 
um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing to get out there on the court and just continue to work on my game, um, continue to work on my threes, continue to do little things that um, was tough for me at, at one point. But now um, me being on my feet and being, being able to just continue to go in the gym late nights, early morning, it's like, okay, I see it. And then um, being able to get to get back to my routine and that's getting a lot of shots up, um, a lot of different things like that, a lot of running in and that's it. And uh, just kind of branching off of what Tom was saying, uh, for you, you and DG have been close for a number of years now. Uh, mm -hmm. And although you were on the sideline, just what did it mean for you to see him blossom the way he did, get into an all-star game and being able to to put this team on his back the way he did? Uh, it's amazing. Um, at, the end of the, at the beginning of the year, everyone said he's going to have a, a great year. And I knew it for sure, just because of the summer that he had. Uh, he came in each and every day, he worked hard and um, you put the time, you put the work in, the results are going to are going to happen no matter what what you're doing. And uh, it just showed him putting the team on his back and just taking that that leadership role when um, when guys well, got injured and when I got injured and uh, he just took that and just ran with it. And I feel like he he put us in this position. He put us in this position, him, J.A., Evan, um, Isaac, Karis, like everyone did their job to, for us to get to this point. And you can definitely tell, even Ed um, being the, the OG of the team and um, that leader that we needed, Kevin, everyone put put their time in and everyone put something into to where we are um, today. Thanks, man. Love the shirt yesterday. Appreciate it. <laughs> Few more Christos, go ahead. Hey, Colin Christos tells us DNA Greece, hope you're doing well. Uh, for you, how how stronger you feel mentally wise during this this process? Uh, I'm very strong, uh, very strong mentally wise. I'm I do a lot of reading, I do a lot of writing uh, every day, and my mental has been it's probably been the best that it, it's been in a long time and I feel like everything that I've been doing and all the people that I've been able to talk to and come in contact with I've um, been able to just feed off of their energy and just bring it into me so um, I'm excited um, because I'm in a really good place and I know that um, I will be back where um, where I was before and speaking about next season do you feel that you have a chip on your shoulder that you have to prove something after your injury? Mm. At the end of the day, I'm just go out there and play. Um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a proof, um, let my game speak, speak for itself. I'm gonna go out here and do what I do and just continue to get better. Um, and the rest is gonna be the rest. Like you, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see results. Thank you very much, get stronger. Thank you. Evan. Evan Damerell, Facebook News. Hey Colin, it's good to see you. Um, JB throughout the years said he was a big advocate of keeping you involved when you were in Atlanta rehabbing. How important was that for you to have the team just doing everything they can to keep you involved every step of the way? Uh, it was very important to me because I wanted to be involved as much as possible, but I just, I just physically couldn't. So, um, any way that they was able to allow me to be a part of the the shoot arounds, be a part of it. I would watch it on Zoom, um, watch their meetings on Zoom, like uh, have calls and different phone calls, we'll watch film, like just different things that they they went above and beyond for me, which they didn't have to do. And I, re I really appreciate them for doing that um, and just allow me just to continue to stay with the guys. Um, it's kind of tough when you're not here, you see everyone's having a lot of fun, enjoying themselves and we're winning. Um, and you're not being able to be a part of it. I feel like that was that was tough. But I know JB and everyone figured out a way that they could keep me involved, and I appreciate them for that. And I know you only got a taste of it from the sidelines, but you got a feel for the playoffs, and Lamar and Isaac said the vision next year is to make it. How motivated are you to join these guys and help push the Cavs back into the playoffs all the way? I'm very motivated. I'm very motivated just to – um, be a part of this and get us over that hump that um, that we needed and just be able to bring um, bring production and bring whatever I bring to the game to help us get to that point um, that that given night, whether it's scoring, whether it's defense, whether it's um, just being tough or being a leader, like whatever is needed that night um, uh, to get us to the to where I want to be. And that's everyone. Everyone is building wants to get back to the playoffs. Uh, and I can tell just by how the, the fans was into it last night. That's that's probably one of the 
few times that I, I felt that um, here in Cleveland now of that feeling. So it, we definitely want to get back. Thank you. Well, Chris, last one. Colin, what was JB's message to you upon leaving? Um, just pretty much just, just get, um, get better. Um, just continue to, uh, get, get into a rhythm of, um, of just knowing that I'm okay. I have no, no restraints and hundred percent. And also I'm um, just, he appreciated me how I, I was around with the guys and here when I was able to be here, I was here. Um, when it was time for me to, um, be around the guys, I wanted to be here at the end of the day. Uh, if I could have been here the whole time I would have and he really appreciated me just being able to bring my smile at the end of the day I'm gonna come in with the with the smile on my face and come in and work hard uh that's every day of the week and I feel like guys could see that and it rubbed off on on guys as well so it was cool Colin whether it was Kobe or JB um did either one of you give did either one of them give you any reassurance that you are still a big part of this well, whatever, whatever they come up with, whatever my agent and Kobe come up with, um, I want to be a part of this organization. I want to be a part of this team. And uh, I feel like um, we're at a point where we're almost there. We're almost there. And I feel like I can I can be a part of that almost there and get to us to the playoffs. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.